Hey, it's Julie from Julie Off Duty, and I want to show you today how I pack a carry-on for either an overnight flight or um, an international flight and what I bring on the plane with me. Now this is for people who check a bag, so this is not how to put everything into a carry-on, but this is instead what I keep with me on the plane and then everything else um, goes under the plane. So if you want to see a video on that, please let me know in the comments and I will be sure to make a video for that for you guys. So. Um, so starting with the actual bags, the um, the ones that I carry, there's three different ones that I like to carry. So basically what I do is I'll put the most important things, like the things that I will use on the plane, in something smaller, kind of like a purse. And then I will still have a carry-on that things that go in there that I need but I don't actually need for the flight. So like a change of clothes, um, things like that that I need but I don't really need to physically get there. And I will put that in my carry-on, I will store it up in the bin and I won't touch it until after I land because I I don't need a lot of entertainment, I don't need to like go back and forth, I'm always afraid my bag is going to fall on someone. Um, so I basically just put my carry-on up above and I don't touch it again. I really like to use, I definitely recommend using something that fully zips. Like, I have this tote here. This is a gallery tote from Coach. I've had this for a million years, but I really like it because it's a great size. And it's white, it's super classic, and it doesn't have logos all over it, um, which is really important when you're traveling internationally because you don't want to draw attention to yourself. And then, Inside, I'll have my like nicer, I really love my Chanel wallet um, because you can dress it up, you can dress it down, and then I put it inside, and then I just have this to carry. So this is my kind of bag type that goes under the seat in front of me. And then of course, I have my carry-on, and I just bought this really beautiful one from um, Calpac. It's floral, it's super beautiful, super feminine. And this is what it looks like. What I will put in my um, purse is, like I said, anything that I totally need. So with uh, no particular order, first thing that's the most important thing are socks. Because, and these are just regular little ankle socks because when you're going through security, I've watched and as a professional, uh, nail and pedicurist. I've seen a lot of feet in my life so I always pay attention to who goes through their barefoot and a lot of people go through barefoot and you don't want to catch any sort of like foot germs. So always bring a pair of socks no matter what and um, I also put these on when I'm on the flight. I take my shoes off, uh, put these on and then I also have my little slippers that I got at the Burj. Super cute and, um, and you're so 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 comfortable. So socks, slippers, and they're super lightweight, you just give them in a hotel, they like, weigh like 3 ounces or something. Also a regular charger, and because you don't know what the outlets are going to be like if you're traveling internationally, I always bring um, an external charger. And this one is from a company called Rav Power, I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link below so you guys can have it, and this goes right into the wall like that and then this goes right into your phone this is for an iPhone hope you guys can see it it's the best thing ever it was like under 30 bucks I have two of them and then I always like to bring some sort of book <laughs> sorry I just dropped that um, I always bring some sort of book that is that is replaceable sorry Mindy this is an amazing book but worst case scenario if you have to leave something behind you're not leaving behind like your first edition of the Odyssey or something like that. Um, you're leaving behind a book that someone else can enjoy and it is replaceable if needed. So next, pretty obvious, headphones always. I'm not someone that can use earbuds, they just don't work in my ear. So I do have some pretty decent headphones. They're not super fancy, they're maybe like $30 in the airport, but again if I lose them it's not the end of the world. Um, I pretty much only use them for travel and uh, I really like these too. So there's those, super comfortable, always a silk eye mask. I've had um, other ones that weren't silk and really when I got this it made such a difference and you feel super super comfortable and you're, it's better for your skin too. I will um, have this big beautiful scarf. This was a gift 
um, that a friend got me from India and it's really, really large. It's probably um, the size of a double bed at least. And it's bright, it's amazing for photos if I'm traveling. And it also doubles really nicely as a little blanket if I need it. If technology should fail you, you always want something to physically write with and um, just a regular notebook and paper uh, and pen <laughs> is something that I always have even if it's really small or just a few sheets. I really am pretty old-fashioned and I really like to write with a pen and a notebook so I always have this with me. And lastly, I, well I guess not lastly, but uh, most importantly, I'll put all my small little things like toothbrush and things like that into a little pack like this that zips. And then if there's not room for this actual thing in your carry-on or in your purse, I put it in my carry-on and then I just kind of whip this out before I put it up in the bin and then everything's all together and it's like super seamless. So inside this is basically all the toiletries that I need for an overnight flight. Um, so I have really bad vision, so I always need my glasses and my contact case and a mirror so that I can see putting my contacts in because I don't want to have to get up to go to the bathroom and put my contacts in. And if the food cart's coming around, I want to see what's cooking. So um, I always make sure that I have either just a mirror or something like this that has a mirror inside it. I love this palette, by the way, from Dior. It's called uh, Feel and Feel It. And I also have um, sanitizing wipes because yes, I'm that person that wipes down the, um, the little tray, table, and the seat and everything like that. And these ones from um, Urban Essentials are super amazing. They have like lavender, so if you want to relax, it smells really nice. Um, a little aromatherapy, and it also like disinfects everything kind of naturally. So I really love these. I'll have a little lip balm, which is super important. I can also put this on my cuticles. This is from Dr. Haushka. Super tiny. I really, really love this. And um, I got these in Japan. This is one of my favorite things and such a cool invention. I wish I would have thought of them. Basically, it's a little heated eye mask and it smells like lavender. So you put this on, I put this on under my, my silk eye mask and then you're like out like a light. So I always bring one or two of those, one for each way. And from Korea, this is, I love a sheet mask but I found these in Korea and they're the juiciest, the best ones that I've used for hydration. And it's got um, escargot in it and um, they're super juicy and there's so much in here that you can use it almost like three times. There's enough product in there that you can just um, use it a few times. I also, just in case, have my little La Prairie um, eye cream. It just goes right there and uh, keep those travel elements away. Um, some other things that I like to carry, I do have one of those crazy um, neck pillows, which I'm kind of on the fence about. I have it because, oops, I'm moving my camera. Um, <laughs> I do have one of these. I'm kind of on the fence about it. It's huge. It doesn't, I know that they do make packable ones, uh, but I bought this on my flight to the Maldives because it was super long and I finally invested but if you guys have something that you like better please tell me in the comments something that you really like that packs up really small and is really really cozy please tell me because I would love to replace this with something and um, I think that's I think that's all uh, I, I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that it helps you. Please let me know in the comments what you think. If there's anything I forgot, I probably did. These are the things that I pack in the bag with me that goes under the seat in front of me when I'm going internationally or for an overnight flight. And um, let me know if you wanna do something with things in a carry-on or also what I pack for a trip. So Julie off duty is off duty. See you soon next time.